Happy days. Yeah, welcome to uh, your Growing Rugby League podcast, uh, sharing different stories of others within Rugby League world um, that are part of, um, you know, SRAM Rugby League recruitment. And today we've got Aldo um, Karamoy on, who's a SRAM Rugby League um, member player from all the way in, in America, who's currently playing in Australia with one of our member clubs, South Perth Lions, being American and now in Australia. Um, how are you, mate? I'm doing well, Luke. Thanks for having me. How are you? Good, 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 mate. Um, yeah, look, look at a lot of others. Um, you're obviously online and on the pod and that, but, you know, I deal with thousands, thousands of different players and connections over the years, and, and there's not many there that I actually get to meet in person and, um, yeah, let alone um, yeah, meet face-to-face. And, and so this is one little avenue to... You know, touch base with everyone um, and communicate, and then also, you know, gather a bit more of their story, which which needs to be told you know, publicly. So, um, yeah, thanks for your time tonight, um, and, and looking forward to you hearing your story. Excellent! Excited to be here. Happy days. Um, so, w- w- look, rugby league isn't very big, um, yeah, in America. Look, I get that many con- uh, people contact myself weekly regarding USA Rugby League, thinking it's, you know, how did you get into the game? But what was, what's your background? Where did you grow up in America? Um, what did you grow up playing? Which sport? And then how did you get into playing rugby league? Yeah, good question. So uh, basically I grew up in Washington, D.C. area, but lived in Baltimore for the last seven years. Uh, growing up, I played American football, as Ozzy called it, a gridiron, uh, baseball, basketball, and I play uh, rugby union as well since I was 18, so it's yeah. been a while ago. So I actually play as high as college level for gridiron, American football, and also rugby union. So I was uh, two, uh, two, ath- two sports athlete in college. And yes, when I still want to get active, so I play with my club team with Seven River, uh, union and when uh, North American Rugby League launching the Dana Pro Rugby League competition, I was intrigued. So I joined a local club uh, with Delaware Blackhawks before getting picked up by one of the NRL team, uh, DC Cavalry. So it's been a great journey. I love it. It's a great combination of gridiron and rugby union. Yep. So, um, yep, enjoying every day uh, playing here in South Perth and excited to bring back more knowledge back in America and also grow my skills here. Yeah, yeah. And look, I've assisted you know, many Americans over the years. Like, what I've, you know, found um, as an 11, um, you play and, and assist coach with different things. But just there's so many natural athletes over there. Um, you're all, yeah. you know, whatever sport you play. Uh, you you are you know really really narrow uh, with the, some of the players that come to Australia. Your Taylor Alley, um, an ex teammate that I, that I played with at Jacksonville, he, he come to Australia and um, yeah, he was similar background, minimal rugby league. I've uh, got the experience here, and then went back to the USA and then you represented um, USA Hawks um, and, wow. and, and pro- progressed through there. Um, yeah, so there's you know. There's that many opportunities for Americans to promote the game, and yeah, Joey Aisha is a perfect example. Um, you're one of the great um, highlights of, of of American rugby league. Yes, sorry, look, the uh, you're breaking up a little bit. But what was the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, yeah, regarding um, yeah, the, the, the Americans, um, yeah, coming to Australia, um, yeah, a lot of them are very shy to you know, um, you play down under and then you head back to America if need be, and then you progress over there. Um, yeah, yeah. So definitely. 
for, like you mentioned before, a lot of great athletes in America. However, rugby league is so new to the country, right? Uh, it's a big difference playing at the, yeah. the U.S. level and here in Australia level where the players has been playing since they were a kid, like under four, under six. Yeah. Uh, so even though the, uh, I mean, the size, the thought ability, I can see how American can be better. But in here, that the, yeah. that second nature of playing it for a very long time makes that game much faster, much better. And uh, it's very hard to find a weak link here in Australia competition compared to mm. America, where you kind of kind of point out a guy where where the defense is gonna be lacking. So um, yeah, it's definitely a challenge, and uh, I can envision America being very good in the competition years to come. And it takes people yeah. that will take the chance to play at Australian levels, like um, you know, like the greats that you mentioned before. Um, so slowly but surely, if we have a lot of potential in America and uh, I'm excited for those days to come. Yeah, no, no definitely. You're, you're definitely um, leading by example. Um, yeah. And yeah, we, we've got another American um, that's in Australia at the moment as well, uh, Claudius. Um, so yeah, Naruma Devils. So um, I yeah, the more, the more Amer Americans you can, yeah, more Americans you can head over here um, and obviously help promote the game back home and, and help and progress it when you um, – just, look, um, yeah, how would you end up – you know, obviously I know you, how you, you got to Australia, but if you could tell, you know, uh, listeners there, how would you end up to Australia? What was the process and how quick was it and, and whatnot? Yeah, good question. So it was actually pretty quickly uh, – my coach that coached Delaware Black Foxes and the uh, U.S. North All-Star team, uh, Liam Muhal, was a good mate of yours and mentioned to go through your process. And I believe it was like Christmas time, which is like six months ago. Uh, I reached out to you and uh, next thing you know, the first week of January, I have a bunch of teams all over, the, all over Australia from like Townsville, Wagga Wagga, uh, <laughs> different parts of South Wales and Queensland. And here in South Perth, and uh, I remember the date, they reached out on the January 7th, it's like early January, and, uh, you know, you kind of show me the way, this is what must get done and stuff like that. And they make it easy, they help me with the relocation package, you know, the contracts and stuff like that. So, uh, it is actually a simple process, I think uh, people are... You know, a lot of Americans might say, oh, my God, it's a different country. It's not America. It can be challenging. But no, if you trust the process and uh, uh, the club is the right fit for you, it's it's going to be a smooth transition. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, look, a lot of people, even in in, in UK, when they want to try and play in Australia, um, yeah, they, they don't realise the amount of competitions you know, we have um, right. you here within Australia. Um, you know, there's there's thousands, and thousands of different competitions and different um, is globally. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, standards right across Australia. Like some competitions, you want to have, you know, your juniors into 18s, um, into 20s, into C grade, into B grade into A grade and as strong as, you know, in in America and that as well. So all it takes is for an athlete, um, yeah, to touch base with myself, um, join the membership, um, yeah, promote you. And then from there, look, I know every single competition and, and clubs and everywhere on the back of my hand, um, that we find the best suit for all the players and athletes for on and off the field. Um, and then, yeah, we just yeah. Go, from, go from there. So this is really, really quick and easy pro out for you um Absolutely. Yeah, with, with with your background um yeah so uh you're obviously yeah you're american but um what's your heritage in that as well yeah my heritage is indonesian so uh fun fact about me i was actually born in jakarta uh you know mom went to school went to university in america came back to 
uh, came back to Jakarta, had me, and we moved back to uh, to America and things like that. So I'm actually um, Indonesian myself. So it's uh, it's incredible here in part, especially it's close to Bali and Jakarta. There's a lot of people that speaks Indonesian better yeah. than I do. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just look, look, um, I'm the yeah, player coach of the you know the Asian, you know, Asian, um, yeah, rep team, and you know, right. we'll hopefully, we get opportunity, um, to bring you over and play, um, right. represent Asia. And, um, there's so many, you know, talented Asians out there, um, they just need to be, you know, identified. And it's great for right. yourself, obviously, being American, Indonesian, um, it obviously it'll help grow the game in you know, Indonesia as well and, and Asian rugby league. So being a proud yeah. Asian European, uh, I'll just love to see you know other Asians you know, playing the game. So the more we, players we can identify, then it help build the games in, in each everyone's individual country. So no, I was excited right. to, um, you know, when you first got in touch and then your Asian background and obviously the, the American Um, and that as well. So there's so much potential. And just before we go any further, I just want to uh, uh, give a, a quick shout out to um, MSC Concrete Constructions. Um, they're a new sponsor of the podcast. Uh, so they'll be sponsoring um, one of our sponsors of this podcast for the rest of the year and um, a couple other little things popping up as well. So a big thank you. Um, to yeah, Matt Smith from um, MSC Concrete Constructions. Um, yeah, the website is mscconcrete.com.au. Their projects uh, right across southeast Queensland, central Queensland, and a strong focus on the Sunshine Coast region. So, a uh, big thank you to um, yeah, Matt regarding that. Um, you yeah, been a, been a sponsor, a new sponsor of this. So, if any other sponsors out there, you know, help sponsor and even jump on board in here and um every little bit helps growing rugby league and growing um it, it really really helps so big thank you to matt um have you got any um insight and advice or just any insight into the game in america uh, i have someone in touch regarding america and i yeah, talk non-stop or pretty much repeat myself to them regarding it but if you could um, you give an insight for your soul. Yeah, so I wish I've done how this. the game is in America. Yeah, so I wish I've done this and go through you like when I was younger, right? Um, uh, when I reached out to you, I was in my late 20s. I wish I'd done this like right away after college so I can grow the game. And who knows, uh, my career will be different when it comes to rugby league. Uh, but the advice that I would go to about um, about players that are playing in America that's interested in moving to Australia is just just do it. I know you guys in Australia have a saying, say she'll be right. So everything will go uh, where it's supposed <laughs> to be. Yeah, and, and it's a it's a different culture too, and uh, it's a it's a beautiful culture here in uh, Australia. Less stress, everyone's more outgoing. And um, I mean, you you just can't beat the the beautiful, um, you know, the beautiful landscape. What this country has to offer and amazing people. So uh, we play hard on the field, but right outside, I was I'm able to enjoy what um, what what Perth can offer. So I'm really enjoying it, and hopefully, I can stay here for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yep. Um, yeah. How's the the game over in in America? Um, you have a you know, little bit of experience, you know, minimal experience playing the game, but um, you know, you stated a couple of your teams that you've played for. Um, can you give an insight just how the game is over there? Um, obviously, you've played two competitions now, Australia and over there. Um, if you get a little insight, the, the you know the the teams, um, you know, how training is and, and whatnot like that. Yeah. So. Um... Definitely, it's uh, it's more challenging here in Australia. Um, and what surprises the most is the, the amount of games per season. Like for example, in USARL, my recent with the Delaware Blackhawks, we have about like 
four, five, six games, and then now, uh, you know, it, it's a normal thing to have to just have a six, seven games for the whole season. And here we have about 15 rounds, not including playoffs. So taking care of your body is very important. And also um, we focus a lot here on uh, the cardio as well. Uh, we run Broncos pretty, pretty often compared uh, to the U.S. where it's mostly, you know, since it's new, like, ball skills and play off the ball, rock and discuss the yeah. game more strategically than here where everyone knows what how to run a block or <laughs> how to play defense come up as one. And uh, those little things like that, um, you know, once again, it's a, it's a rugby league is the top sports here in Australia where in America it's not there yet. So a lot of learning curve that needs to happen. Uh, however, I believe that American has the, we have the, the great athletes that can be wildly successful in, uh, in international rugby league. So, um, we'll see. Yeah. I hope that answered yeah, your question. Yeah. Look, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 definitely. Um, look, it is amateur over there in, in the USA. Um, you know, for any Australians, I even got opportunities at the moment for any um Aussies or anyone interested to come or play over in America. Um, yeah, yeah. Even though it is amateur, you know, there's there's opportunities to, you know to play over there. Like, um, I went over in in 2011 to Jacksonville Axemen. Um, yeah. And like we were getting two and a half thousand people to our home games. Obviously, you know, they done a lot of you know, promotional work and and other things right. like that away games. Um, yeah, there, there wasn't too, there wasn't too many, but just the amount of talented athletes there, America can yeah can be you know a, a top nation. The, the problem is, right. you know, look, there's a lot of neg there's a lot of negativity if you followed a lot of um, the game over there. But it, with you know politics and different things, there's a lot of negativity yeah. in house fighting and you know different competitions and and power and whatnot. Um, that's the negativity side of it, but in, in my eyes, everyone's there's more and more teams. Is playing the game, no matter what competition, or after you know positive exposure. So, hopefully, one day they all can come together and um, you know just as, as one. But in the, the day, there's more American athletes playing the game, which is which is great. So. Hopefully, yeah. NRL do do head to Las Vegas. Um, help, um, you know, the USA Rugby League and ARL, um, Pacific Coast, um, and 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 you know, from there, um, you know, it will do great things because there's a lot of Americans game and doing a lot of things off their own back and people like yourself and, and you know the rugby league american podcast and um you know with everyone else out there um and hopefully you get more athletes playing the game so exciting times ahead for usa rugby league um so with how how are you how are you um south perth um airlines Sorry, what's what's the question again, Luke? Sorry, you're breaking up a little bit. We use um, going at the moment on on the ladder. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh we're in the middle of the pack right now. Uh, the season's yeah. going uh really well. You know, uh, here in WA, uh, there are about uh 10, 10 to twelve clubs. Uh, but there are only about yeah. five Premiership team, uh, the Grade A team. Uh, so you know, they yeah. tend to be. One, it's 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 not like a, a a competition where one is so much better than the other. It's like the number five can beat number yeah. one, and you know it it, it depends on yeah. on on the time of the day. So it's very competitive, and uh, once again, it's the highest level here in Western Australia. So we take this very seriously, and uh, yeah. So hopefully, um, an NRL team will will have a team here in Western Australia one day, but. Until then, we're enjoying our competition here. Yep, yep. What are your um, yeah, goals um, and aspirations for the rest of the season on and off the field? 
Yeah. So uh, on the field is learning as much as I can, right? I got very, very humble the first time, I, the first game I played here. It's like, you know what? I last, The last rugby league game I played in the United States, I scored a hat trick and tackled about 35 times and we won that game and then when you come here on the trial game i was like i thought i can do the same thing running all over people but i like knowing my role on the team is what's important (laughs) yeah i'm not gonna be the one that's uh doing the hat trick anymore uh but i'll be the one that's making that big tackles bring all the guys up uh do the hard run play the ball very quickly and things like that so because everyone here tends to be very experienced, especially at the level that we're at. Uh, so my goal is to keep improving and also, you know, they take care of the little things and big things will take care of themselves and hopefully grand finals will come our way and win that. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm a big believer on taking this, the little things right. And uh, I just want to, you know, show up to practice, do my best, uh, do a lot of lifting and cardio outside of practice and show up during the game and everything will take care of by itself. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're a good man. Um, you're, you're speaking uh, um, yeah, rugby league terms very, very well. You know, I see some of the games uh, are live streamed uh, um, and, and replayed. So hopefully I can get, um, yeah, watch a bit of the game. Games um, towards the end of the season, which I haven't, been, um, you know, do the little things right off the field, like, like you see what you've been doing, um, yeah. and then just keep chip, keep chipping away um, regarding you know the end goals. Um, will right. you be looking to do a bit of traveling or anything in, in the off season? Yeah, so uh, you know, uh, Aussie footy is a big thing here. So uh, went to the Aussie footy games and check out Western Australia, the north, the south, and. Uh, you know, with my job right now, um, I'm able to do, uh, you know, it's like on the road uh, as a sales rep. So I'm able to check out different places of Perth and it's beautiful and check out the beach with the mates, uh, great food and um, yeah, just just enjoying Perth. It's such a beautiful city and nothing like it, uh, nothing like Perth in, uh, in America. So I'm pretty blessed to be here. And yeah. it's one of the big yeah, reasons yeah. why I just stop Perth the city of Perth <laughs> and the beautiful beaches it has off, it can offer. Yeah, and no, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. I was nearly going to move to, to um, before going to play in America, I was so close to heading to, to play over in Perth with um, Rockingham yeah. Sharks. So, right, right, right. Um, yeah, maybe something in the future. Uh, is, yeah, I've just always... I've always kept in touch, um, you know, with, with the competition over there. And I'm yeah, so thankful to, you know, Western Australian Rugby League clubs because they've supported myself, you know, big time where th- th- they've been, you know, a lot of the clubs have been members, a lot of the players have been members, and then also a lot of clubs are actually, you know, bought a lot of gear off myself and got gear potentially. And, you know, I, I believe, you know, they, they have to have the next NRL team over there. Yeah. Um, just you know, re- regarding you know everything, it'll help you know obviously growing the game. With so much positivity with um, yeah WA um, heading in. So um, yeah, yeah, keep kicking goals over there. Um, yeah, within their squad in in, in a couple of years of time. Yeah. Um, yeah, much appreciated for your, your time tonight, Legend. Um, you know, we, we both got yeah, very busy um, schedules um, with everything. But um, have you got anything else that you want to add or say? Uh, yeah. Anything or everything regarding sure. back home in America or over here? Yeah, I, I know you mentioned you spent uh, some time in America. And I definitely encourage Australian rugby league players to, you know, to go to America to grow the game and become the legend there. And it's the opportunity is so big there in America. And, you know, you you will make a great impact if you're able to do some, like some coaching, you know, um, push the competition to, uh, uh, to, uh, to a better competition there. And uh, those little things. And America is a great place to, to check out. I know Australians love to travel everywhere. So why not grow the game? There in America, where uh, um, you will be remembered as a legend when uh, when you grow the game 
and uh, one day USA Rugby League will will go far away in the World Cup one day. So, um, and for the young American players, come to Australia. Things are gonna be things gonna be great. Like I never thought the process gonna be this smooth, this fast, and um, I enjoy every single day that I've been here for the last two and a half months and can't wait for the rest of my journey here. Yeah, you're a good man, mate. You're, you're an absolute legend and you're creating a legacy like with all the other American from bigger over there. So you're definitely creating a legacy and um, you are absolutely you're growing rugby league. So I appreciate that for you jumping out of your comfort zone, getting in touch and actually yeah, heading over here. Have you tried Vegemite yet since you've been in Oh, Australia? yeah, yeah. Oh, Luke, to be honest with you, <laughs> I am not a big fan. It is it is too salty for me. I'm a sweet guy and yeah. uh, it, is, it is too salty. But uh, apparently you have to have the perfect butter and Vegemite ratio. I think I overdo it. So um, give yeah. it a couple of weeks yeah. and I might, I might try it again. So... Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Myself growing up, like, um, like I'm still crazy with all my different supplements and my food and everything. But because of the high vitamin B, every single day I used to have a huge. You're back. I got you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you yeah. dropped out. Yeah, yeah. I, I dropped out there. So, um, yeah, just when I was younger, I used to take a, a big spoonful every single day. I wouldn't have it on bread or, or anything. Just take it just for the, you know, oh. vitamin B. Um, but it is Australian culture um, and foods are a lot different to everyone else, so everywhere yeah. else. But, yeah, just keep um, yeah, making the most of your time. Yeah, off the field sure. with the, yeah, the different food, um, the culture and everything like that. But um, yeah, just yeah. same once again. Just yeah, thank you for your time. Um, you know, totally. much appreciated. Um, yeah, don't, don't hesitate to yeah, to reach out if you if you need anything or um, need any advice uh, or whatnot. But yeah, keep growing rugby league and um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing on and off the field over there because it, it is making um, your mark. In America and across Australia as well. So appreciate your time, Legend. Thank you, Luke. Th Have a great one. Thank you. Catch up. Bye.